Sherry Lansing grew up in a family that valued education and hard work. Her mother, a real estate investor, and her father, a real estate developer, taught her the importance of determination. As a young girl, she loved movies and was fascinated by storytelling. This early passion led her to pursue a career in film. She was influenced by strong women in the industry and was mentored by leaders like Ray Stark, a film producer who guided her in her early career. These influences shaped her path to becoming a successful film producer and studio executive. Sherry Lansing is a film producer who led the way for women in the movie business. She was the first woman to head a Hollywood movie studio. In her career, she has been part of many movies we love. Now, we want to hear from you. Do you remember a moment related to Sherry Lansing that you hold dear? Has she inspired you in any way? Your stories and memories are important to us and we invite you to share them below. Stay tuned because we have many surprising and touching facts about Sherry Lansing to share with you. Keep watching to discover more about her journey and the movies she brought to life. Sherry Lansing's journey into film began with a love for stories. As a young girl, she was drawn to the magic of movies and the way they brought tales to life. Her passion was sparked when she saw the film To Kill a Mockingbird. The power of its story and characters left a deep impression on her. She realized that movies could change the way people think and feel. This experience planted the seed for her future career. She wanted to be part of creating stories that could touch people's hearts and minds. Her determination led her to Hollywood, where she started by taking acting roles. However, she soon found her true calling behind the scenes. It was the process of bringing a script to life, from page to screen, that truly captivated her. This shift from acting to producing was a defining moment for Lansing. It set her on the path to becoming one of the most respected producers in the industry. Her early experiences with the emotional impact of film guided her throughout her career as she went on to produce powerful and memorable movies. Sherry Lansing was a trailblazer in Hollywood. As the first woman to head a major film studio, she led Paramount Pictures to success with hit films. Her leadership style was collaborative, and she was known for her ability to spot and nurture talent. Lansing also championed stories that might have been overlooked, bringing diverse and powerful narratives to the screen. Her work helped pave the way for more women in executive roles in the film industry. After leaving Paramount, she continued to influence Hollywood through her philanthropy, supporting education, and cancer research. Her career shows how one person's vision and determination can shape an industry and inspire others to follow their path. Sherry Lansing started in the film industry when there were few women in leadership roles. She faced doubts from people who thought a woman could not lead a movie studio. Despite these challenges, she became the first woman to head a Hollywood movie studio. Sherry Lansing had to work with a tight budget many times. She made smart choices about which movies to make. She supported movies that were different and interesting. This helped her succeed even when money was short. Her belief in her own decisions and her ability to stay strong when others doubted her led to her success. She showed that creative thinking and staying true to your vision can lead to great achievements in the movie industry. Sherry Lansing started her journey in Los Angeles as a substitute teacher, sharing her knowledge of English and math with students in South Central. Her love for movies began early, with The Wizard of Oz being the first she saw in a theater, though the witch left her quite scared. Later in life, after marrying Michael Brownstein, they celebrated their union by watching Hello, Dolly! on Broadway in New York, and Lansing even participated in the game show Password. These experiences marked the early chapters of her life before she became a notable figure in the film industry. Sherry Lansing's career had several key moments that shaped her success. Her leadership as the head of 20th Century Fox in the 1980s made her the first woman to lead a Hollywood movie studio. Under her guidance, the studio produced hits like Fatal Attraction and The Accused, which were not only successful at the box office, but also sparked conversations on important social issues. Colleagues and film critics have noted her ability to balance commercial success with stories that challenge viewers. Her work earned her respect and set a standard for future productions. Lansing's approach to choosing projects that resonate with audiences and tackle meaningful themes has left a lasting mark on the film industry. Sherry Lansing started her career alongside Linda Gray, where both faced the challenges of auditions and the pursuit of acting roles. During this time, Lansing appeared in commercials representing brands like Max Factor and Ivory Snow. 
and her personal life, she is a stepmother to two sons, Jackson Freakin and Cedric Freakin. These experiences and roles have shaped her journey in the film industry. Sherry Lansing, a film producer, approaches her work with a focus on storytelling and character development. She selects projects that speak to her personally and believes in making films that have a strong emotional core. Her leadership style is collaborative, allowing for input from all levels of production. Lansing's personal experiences, such as her history as a former actress and studio executive, inform her understanding of the filmmaking process, ensuring that the films she produces are not only commercially successful, but also have depth and appeal to a wide audience. Her work reflects her belief in the power of cinema to inspire and entertain. Sherry Lansing finished her education at the University of Chicago Laboratory Schools in 1962. She made a significant career move in 1992 when she became the chairperson of Paramount Pictures, a major film studio. She held this position for over a decade before stepping down as chief executive officer in 25. In addition to her executive roles, she also appeared as a background player on the popular television show Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In. Sherry Lansing was a trailblazer in the film industry, becoming the first woman to head a major film studio. Her leadership at Paramount Pictures led to the production of many successful films. She had a keen eye for stories that connected with audiences, often blending genres to create films that were both entertaining and thought-provoking. Her approach encouraged more dynamic female characters and opened doors for other women in the industry. Experts note her ability to nurture talent and her foresight in selecting projects that became cultural touchstones. Those she mentored recall her guidance and the confidence she instilled in them to pursue bold ideas. Her influence is seen in the way films are made today, with a focus on strong narratives and character development. Sherry Lansing's career is a guiding light for many, showing that leadership and a passion for storytelling can shape an industry. Sherry Lansing has served as a member of the Regents of the University of California, starting her term in March 1999 and concluding it in March 2010. Her work was recognized when she received the Jean Hirschholt Humanitarian Award at the Academy Awards in 26. Additionally, she was featured in a shampoo commercial alongside Farrah Fawcett before Fawcett became widely known. Sherry Lansing, a film producer, has a strong interest in supporting cancer research, education, and encouraging young filmmakers. She founded the Sherry Lansing Foundation, which focuses on funding cancer research and supporting public education. She also co-founded Stand Up to Cancer, an initiative that raises funds for collaborative cancer research. Her commitment to education is evident through her involvement with the Incorp STEM Teachers Program, which helps professionals transition to teaching in science, technology, engineering, and math. Lansing's personal life reflects her dedication to these causes, and she often speaks about the importance of giving back and supporting the community. Her work in the entertainment industry is informed by her belief in making a positive difference in the world. Sherry Lansing's journey in Hollywood began in 1971 when she started working for producer Raymond Wagner. Her career took a significant turn when she met Stanley Jaff in 1975, with whom she would later form a successful producing partnership. Their meeting took place at a dinner party, showing how personal connections can shape professional paths. In 1996, her achievements were recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, a symbol of her hard work and success in the film industry. Sherry Lansing has been a trailblazer in the film industry, breaking new ground as the first woman to head a major film studio. Her work has opened doors for many and set a standard for excellence. She encourages those starting out to stay determined, learn continuously, and embrace every opportunity to grow. For the future, she aims to support and guide new talent, ensuring the growth and innovation of the industry. Her advice is to be patient, work hard, and stay true to one's vision while respecting the collaborative nature of filmmaking. Sherry Lansing made a significant shift in her career from acting to producing, which led to her becoming a leading figure in the film industry. Her last role as an actress was Emilita and Rio Lobo, after which she focused on producing. She produced hit movies like Fatal Attraction, Black Rain, and Indecent Proposal. In a notable moment in her career, Joe Estras, in his memoir, mentioned that Lansing, who was leading Paramount Pictures, asked him to publicly support the hiring of William Friedkin for the movie Jade. 
Friedkin, Lansing's husband, was chosen despite Esther's reservations. Lansing's influence extended beyond producing. She broke new ground by becoming the first woman to lead a major film studio when she took charge of 20th Century Fox in 1980. Sherry Lansing's career is a story of a deep love for film and a belief in the magic of storytelling. Starting as an actor, she quickly found her true calling behind the scenes, rising to become the first woman to head a Hollywood movie studio. Her leadership at Paramount Pictures was marked by a keen eye for stories that connect with people and a talent for guiding projects to great success. She championed movies that not only entertained but also sparked conversations and inspired audiences. Her journey shows us that with a creative spirit and steady determination, one can shape an industry and touch the hearts of millions. Her work reminds us that stories well told have the power to move us and that the drive to share them can lead to extraordinary places. A Sherry Lansing's path encourages us all to hold on to our dreams and to keep creating no matter the challenges. Sherry Lansing, a notable figure in Hollywood, played a key role in the casting of the film Black Rain. While many actors were considered for the lead, Michael Douglas was chosen, partly due to his good relationship with Lansing and her co-producer. Lansing's career is marked by significant milestones, including becoming the first female head of a major film studio at 20th Century Fox and later leading Paramount Pictures as chairman. Her acting work in Rio Lobo also reflects her adaptability. She took over the role from Jennifer O'Neill, who was removed from the film's ending by director Howard Hawks. Lansing's experience with Hawks was challenging as he demanded changes to her voice and appearance to fit his vision. Her journey in the film industry showcases her leadership and ability to navigate complex situations. Sherry Lansing started her career in front of the camera, managed by Joe Wonder. She gained visibility through her role in Playboy After Dark, appearing in 10 episodes. Her acting journey included a challenging moment during the filming of Rio Lobo, where she portrayed Amelita. A last-minute script change required her to appear topless, which caused her great anxiety. To manage her nerves for the scene, she resorted to taking a 20 milligram Valium. This moment in her career was a significant one, showcasing the pressures actors can face on set. Sherry Lansing finished her college education at Northwestern University, earning a Bachelor of Science degree. She studied speech as her main subject and drama as her secondary subject. During her time at university, she joined the Sigma Delta Tau sorority. It was also at Northwestern where she met Michael L. Brownstein, who would later become her husband. Sherry Lansing faced a personal tragedy when her mother passed away from cancer. This event had a profound effect on her, leading her to become a strong advocate for cancer research and treatment. She has dedicated herself to supporting medical science and finding cures and improving patient care. Her commitment to this cause is seen through her involvement with organizations like the Stand Up to Cancer Initiative, where she works tirelessly to help those affected by the disease. This dedication stems from her own experience with loss and her desire to prevent others from enduring similar pain. Sherry Lansing has been a leading figure in the film industry, guiding many successful movies to the big screen. Her work has inspired many and continues to be a topic of discussion for fans and critics alike. We invite you to share your views on her films and the influence she has had on the world of movies. If you enjoy content that celebrates the creative people behind our favorite films, please like, share, and subscribe for more discussions. Your support helps us bring more stories and insights about the people who shape our entertainment experiences. Share your thoughts in the comments below.